All right, today we are comparing MOSFETs. We've got the uh, Bojack series of MOSFETs. We are comparing the IF, I'm sorry, R, the IRF 510, 520s, and 540s today. We had a pack of 530s. We burned them all up because uh, we didn't have our... Uh, our snubber in place um, so today we're going to put this on the oscilloscope and we're going to see which MOSFET performs best for my operation go all right, we're going to get all set up here all right here we are we are pulsing currently at 5.29 kilohertz we're going to turn this baby on you can see our waveform growing here this is doing increments here 10 volts we got a uh, 0.42 amps twenty volts we've got two point two amps and when we get to twenty nine volts we are at five point two five amps good waveform Good production, got 145 volts across the cell. And we are right at that 100 mark for gas production. Hold. All right, here we go with the 520 MOSFET. Let's kick it up to 10 volts, see what we got. Point four five amps at ten volts. Twenty volts. We got two point three amps. Twenty nine volts. We got five point three amps. 144 volts to tell, good production, right at that 100 mark. Alright, we have the 540 MOSFET in now. Let's see what she does. Ten volts. So about four uh, point four say three amps. Twenty volts. Yeah, two point three amps. And at 29 volts, we got 5.3 amps. We're at 144 volts at the cell. Good production. Right at that 100 mark. Uh, conclusion here is that uh, any of these MOSFETs in this 500 series, 510 to 540, um, basically, I believe, have the same rating. As we can see here, uh, they're all 100 volt MOSFETs, just handling from 5.6 amps all the way up to 33 amps. So, not much difference there. Got plenty of MOSFETs to burn up now. But again, with this snubber circuit that I have in here, I will show you more about that. That has solved a lot of my MOSFET burning issues. This is Stan's Revenge.